the next part of aggregate supply aggregate demand model, we're going to talk about shift factors in the aggregate demand. Here, we're going to assume that prices remain constant, but there's some outside factor that changes our spending habits. We're going to look at the consumption, uh, business investment, government spending, and net ex exports, and ask what might change the behavior of these components that is not price level related. Let's start with consumption. When we look at consumption, we're asking about the consumer. Remember, this is the biggest part of the U.S. economy. 70% of the U.S. economy is consumer driven. Understanding the behavior of consumers is important. The first shift factor is changes in real wealth. Holding prices constant increases in wealth will increase consumer spending. Increasing asset prices like stocks or housing markets will lead to an increase in wealth and lead to a shift of the aggregate demand curve to the right. This is what happened during the housing boom. Housing prices increased, people felt wealthier, and they started to spend more. An increase in real wealth is going to increase aggregate demand at every price level. The next shift factor is general expectations about the future. Changes in expectations about the future outcome are two different components. One is about expected income. The other is about consumer confidence. It turns out that if you expect that your income is going to increase in the future, you start to spend more today. If you expect that your income will fall in the future, you start to spend less today. There's also a relationship with respect to what we call consumer confidence. Your expectation or your confidence in the state of the economy in the future will impact your consumption patterns today. If you're lacking confidence about how the economy looks in the future, you're going to start to spend less today. That's why consumer confidence is important and how it impacts spending in the economy. Tax is the other shift factor. Higher income taxes means less money to spend and therefore lead to a decrease in consumption. Lower taxes will lead to more consumption. The next component of aggregate demand is investment. Investment shifts when decision makers at firms decide to increase or decrease spending on capital goods. Similar to the consumer, Investor confidence will impact investing. If investor confidence increases, firms will begin to invest more at every price level. This leads to a shift in the aggregate demand curve to the right. If investor confidence falls, investment decreases and causes AD to shift, shift to the left. Investment behavior is also sensitive to interest rates. As interest rates decrease, investments increase. The lower the interest rate, the more profitable firms could be with their projects. They're more likely to expand their businesses if the cost of capital is low. Higher interest rates lead to a reduction in investment and therefore shift AD to the left. Government spending is influenced directly by policymakers. These changes may be due to responses to economic conditions or they might be political in nature. For now, we're going to assume government spending increases or decreases but we won't get into the details of what might cause that change. Later on this semester, we'll discuss economic factors that impact government spending. For now, an increase in government spending will lead to a shift to the right of AD, and a decrease in G will lead to a decrease in AD. Net exports is the shift in response to changes in foreign income and the value of the US dollar. Let us start with the value of the US dollar. As the value of the dollar increases, which means it appreciates, Americans will be able to buy more foreign products. However, since the dollar is more expensive relative to other currencies, international markets will reduce the amount of US products that they purchase. Therefore, as the dollar appreciates, our exports decrease, imports increase, and net exports therefore decrease. An increase in the value of the dollar causes AD to shift to the left. On the other hand, when the dollar depreciates, American buy less imports and American products become more affordable for international markets. This causes net exports to increase. A depreciating dollar causes AD to shift to the right. When it comes to income, when international economies experience an increase in their income or become wealthier, they're able to buy more American products. This will cause AD to shift to the right. If other countries experience a decline in their wealth or income, 
they will be less likely to purchase our products, causing exports to fall and AD to shift to the left. This is the summary of the shift factors of the AD curve. Now you know what causes a movement along the AD curve and you also know what causes a shift in the AD curve. My recommendation is to work through the problems I have provided. Practice graphing the AD curve and explaining the reasoning behind the shifts and movements in the AD curve. If you have questions, reach out to me. Next, we're going to look at the aggregate supply curve.